Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use the causative form. So before I start, I apologize for my voice. I'm still sick and my voice, you know, is not okay, but I'll do my best. Koe ga karechaimashita. Anyway, before you watch this video, please watch the passive form video and also the video where I explained te ageru, te kureru, te morau because we will use those forms in this video. So the causative form is used when you want to make a sentence like I made someone do something or I forced someone to do something. So it's all about the speaker having the control over somebody else's action. And this causative form can also be used to mean I let somebody do something. Alright, so when we wanted to make the passive form, we used rareru, right? Like if you wanted to say somebody ate my cake and I'm upset, we have to use the passive form of the verb to eat. So you change taberu into taberareru, taberareru. So you could say keiki o tabelareta to mean somebody ate my cake and I'm hungry. And then when you want to show who ate it, you want to say somebody ni keiki o tabelareta. So the ni particle here indicates who did that action, right? But for the causative form, if you want to, for example, say, I made my friend eat the cake, then you want to say, Tomodachi ni keiki o tabesaseta. Tomodachi ni keiki o tabesaseta. So for the passive form, the person in front of the ni particle is the one that did the action. But for the causative form, what comes in front of the ni particle is the person who was forced to do something. So, tomodachi ni keiki o tabesaseta. The subject is still I, watashi. So, the whole sentence technically would be watashi wa tomodachi ni keiki o tabesaseta. But because we don't really say I, watashi wa in Japanese, we omit it, right? So, don't get confused that tomodachi is the one who caused this. I still made my friend eat the cake and person ni, this ni particle indicates who was forced to do something. And then let's look at tabesaseta, the verb. Taberu is the original form and then instead of ru, we put saseta. So this saseru is used for iru, eru ending verbs. So verbs like taberu, miru, neru, okiru, right? So those verbs, you change the last ru into saseru. So taberu becomes tabesaseru. And if you want to make this formal, saseru on its own has eru ending. So you just change ru into mas for the formal speech. So you get sasemas. So you say tabesasemas. Tabesasemas. And when you want to negate this saseru, you really treat saseru like an er ending. So saseru becomes sasenai informally and formally you change sasemas into sasemasen. So tabesasenai informally. Tabe sase masen, formally, I don't make somebody eat. So like, I don't force my children to eat vegetables. Then you'd say, children ni, because children should be the one that are forced or here are not forced. And then the object, vegetables, or, and then I don't force or I don't make them. So children, we say, 子供 so, 子供に 
子供に vegetables 野菜野菜 so, 子供に野菜を I don't make the meat I don't force them to eat 食べさせない informally and formally 食べさせません So the whole sentence is informally first 子供に野菜を食べさせない子供に野菜を食べさせない Formally 子供に野菜を食べさせません子供に野菜を食べさせません So let's practice conjugating more i r e r e n d i n g verbs So 見る to watch If you want to say to make somebody watch then you change the last ru into sase ru, right? So, mi ru becomes mi sase ru, mi sase ru, mi sase ru. <laughs> anyway, if you want, for example, say mi sa made everyone watch the Detective Pikachu film, <laughs> then You will end up saying misa twice in that sentence. <laughs> anyway, the subject is misawa. We can't omit misawa because it's not I. So if I'm saying I made everyone watch the film, then obviously I don't say watashi wa and then start with everyone. But let's say that I'm not misa, or maybe I'm talking about another misa who likes Pikachu very much. <laughs> Then I start the sentence with misawa, and then the person or people who are forced to watch the film. Everyone. Everyone, we say? Minna. Minna. If you thought about the word mina san, then it doesn't really suit because mina san is correct, but it sounds very formal. And you don't really say mina san. Unless you're trying to sound very polite in front of everyone. But in this kind of sentence, when you say, Misa made everyone watch, like you're not talking to those everyone, like those people.、Uh, so you don't say, Mina san, because you don't need to be polite to them. You're just saying, like, Hey, Misa made everyone watch the film. Anyway, here we want to use the word Minna. So, Misa wa. みんなに We want to put the ni particle to show who who Misa is forcing, right? So Misa wa みんなに、uh, Detective Pikachu we say めたんてピカチュたんて is detective and めたんて is like great detective So めたんてピカチュの映画 is like The detective Pikachu film, and then you want to say, or made everyone watch. Miru becomes mi sa se ta, mi sa se ta. So the causative form is mi sa se ru, but the past tense of the causative form is mi sa se ta, mi sa se ta. And that's for the informal speech. If you want to say this formally, then you change mi sa se ta into. みさせました。みさせました。So, the whole sentence first informally. みさはみんなに名探偵ピカチュウの映画を見させた。みさはみんなに名探偵ピカチュウの映画を見させた。Formally, みさはみんなに名探偵ピカチュウの映画を見させました。Alright, now let's see how other verbs are conjugated. For most of the verbs, you just change the last u sound into a and then put seru. So it has a seru sound, like a reru for the passive form. It's a seru. So for example, to go, iku. You change the i k u sound into a, so you get i ka, i ka, and then put seru, i ka seru. And that means 
to make somebody go or to force somebody to go. So for example, I made my kohai go to the convenience store. So senpai is someone who is older and has more experience than you and kohai is someone who is younger or someone who has less experience than you. Okay, so I made my kohai so you don't really want to show the subject because we don't want to say watashi wa, right? So we start the sentence with kohai. So you don't have to say watashi no kohai. You can just say kohai for my kohai. So kohai and then ni kohai ni and made him go to the convenience store. So convenience store we usually just say konbini konbini so kohai ni konbini and then to go to the convenience store what particle should we use for to go to the convenience store we say konbini ni iku to mean to go to the convenience store right so kohai ni konbini ni and then to go in the causative form iku becomes ikaseru and then the past tense ikaseta informally ikaseta formally ikasemashita ikasemashita so kohai ni konbini ni ikasemashita kohai ni konbini ni ikasemashita some people might find it weird that the two new particles in the sentence, but that's fine. Kohai ni konbini ni ikasemashita. The ni particle is being used for different reasons here, so no need to worry. If you want to make this sentence a bit more difficult and say, I made my kohai go to the convenience store to buy me a drink. So suddenly this sentence seems a lot more complicated but you just need to, you know, break it down. First, kohai ni part doesn't change, right? And what's making this sentence complicated is the go to the convenience store to buy me a drink, right? So first let's just think about to buy a drink. So drink, we say nomimono nomimono like tabemono is food right taberu plus mono food nomimono is also from the verb nomu to drink and then mono thing so to buy a drink we just say nomimono kau right and when you want to say to go somewhere to do something like to go to the convenience store to buy something. We use the must form stem and then ni iku. So the must form stem of the verb to buy, kau, plus ni iku means to go somewhere to buy, to go buy. So kau becomes kaimas in the must form, right? You change the last u into i and then put mas. Kaimas. So ka i and then ni iku. Kai ni iku. And you want to put the word drink in front of kau. So you say nomi mono o kai ni iku. Then that can mean like I'm going to buy a drink. Like I'm going somewhere to buy a drink. I'm going out to buy a drink. And then to the convenience store, you can just put that at the beginning. So you can say konbini ni nomimono o kai ni iku. Konbini ni nomimono o kai ni iku. So that's the most difficult part, right? <laughs> and you might be thinking, uh, that doesn't mean buy me a drink, right? If you say konbini ni nomimono o kai ni iku, then that could just mean I'm going to the convenience store to buy 
a drink maybe for myself it could just mean a drink so it doesn't really imply for who like if you want to say I'm going there for somebody then you want to use te ageru like konbini ni nomimono kai ni te ageru then yeah it means I'm going to the convenience store to buy a drink for you but with this causative form when you say kohai ni uh, and then the causative form of iku you don't really need to put anything it just it's fine like you're making somebody go somewhere to buy something so it's kind of clear that it's for the speaker right for someone who is forcing so do you still remember the past tense of the causative form of the verb iku we say ikaseta or Ikasemashita. Right, so the whole sentence, let's do it slowly first. So the person who is being forced, Kohai, right, so Kohai ni. And then where is he going? Konbini ni. And then what is he buying? Nomimono o kai ni. Ikaseta informally and ikasemashita formally. So let's do it again. Kohai ni konbini ni nomimono o kai ni ikaseta. Kohai ni konbini ni nomimono o kai ni ikaseta. Formally. Kohai ni konbini ni nomimono o this might sound a bit hard, but please try. Repeat after me, okay? Kohai ni konbini ni nomimono o kai ni ikasemashita. Alright, what about the verb to drink? Nome. And then the causative form, nomaseru, nomaseru. Remember, not nomasaseru. Saseru only appears for the ru ending verbs, right? So nomaseru, nomaseru. So nomaseta is the past tense for the informal speech, and then nomasemashita is the formal speech. So for example, a senpai made his or her kohai drink, then you want to use nomaseta or nomasemashita. So the subject, senpai wa, and then kohai ni, and made him drink, made her drink. Nomaseta. Nomasemashita. We can add word like osake, alcohol. So, senpai wa kohai ni osake o nomaseta. O senpai wa kohai ni osake o nomasemashita. Alright, what about the verb to stand? Tatsu. And this is always a problem with the two ending verbs. Do you remember how to negate the verb tatsu? A lot of students get confused. They are like tsu, tsu into what? Like tsa? Like tatsa? Tatsanai? <laughs> but we say tatanai, tatanai for no stamped. So we only have tachi, tsu, te, to. So tsu becomes Ta, if I say u into a, if I say u into e, then ta, te, you know, like that. No, tsu doesn't become tse or tso or tsa. <laughs> so, ta, ta, seru is the causative form. Ta, ta, seru, to make somebody stand. So, ta, ta, seta, ta, ta, seta, might sound funny. Ta, ta, seta made somebody stand. That's informal. So, tatasemashita is formal. Tatasetta. 
So if you want for example say sensei made his or her student stand up or stand then sensei wa student either gakusei or seito let's use the word gakusei here sensei wa gakusei ni and then the verb tata seta sensei wa seito ni tata seta formally sensei wa seito ni tata semashita so what about the verb to wait? Matsu, right? So matsu becomes not matsu wa mataseru mataseru So mataseta is the past tense, right? Mataseta informally Matasemashita formally you might have heard the phrase omatase. So omatase is a good phrase when you know, say sorry I made you wait. And that omatase comes from this causative form mataseru. All right, what about the verb to take a picture? To take a picture we say shashin wo toru. Shashin wo toru. So verbs that have the endings but it's not an ire ending you have to be careful toru doesn't have ire right it's oru sound so it should conjugate like other verbs so toru shouldn't have saseru ending saseru ending is only for ire er ending verbs so toru becomes to ra seru Toraseru. Some people might make a mistake like tosaseru, but that's wrong. You want to say toraseru. Toraseru. So, shashin wo toraseru is to make somebody take a picture. And there is one that would have saseru. So, you want to be careful with verbs that have aru, uru, oru ending, right? It doesn't become saseru. It would become raseru. So, uru to sell. If you want to say to make somebody sell something, you say uraseru, not usaseru, uraseru. Okay? Or to ride. Noru becomes noraseru, noraseru. So, it becomes raseru, right? Saseru is for iru, eru, and then verbs. And also verbs that have su ending. Because if you change the U sound into E for the surname verbs, it, you get saseru. So for example, to push, we say osu, osu. So you get o saseru, o saseru. Yeah, so it would have the same ending as the ire ending causative form, o saseru. Or to speak, hanasu becomes Hanasaseru. Hanasaseru. It's to make somebody talk. <laughs> so, for example, Misa is making everyone speak Japanese. Then you want to say, Misa wa minna ni nihongo o hanasaseru. Or you could also say, Nihongo de hanasaseru. So, Nihongo o hanasaseru, then it's like Misa makes everyone speak Japanese. And then, Minna ni Nihongo de hanasaseru sounds like Misa makes everyone talk in Japanese. Right now, there is another ending that you want to be careful with. If the verb has the hiragana u, like the verb uta u, to sing, for example. You don't just want to change the u into a seru, but you want to change the u into wa seru. So it's basically the same way as the negation, right? So uta u had to become uta wa nai for the informal negation, or kau to buy becomes kawa nai for not buy. 
So, uta wa seru is to make somebody sing. And then, kau becomes kawaseru. Kawaseru. Or to say, iu becomes iwaseru. Iwaseru. So, that's to make somebody say something. Or the verb to laugh. Warau becomes warawaseru. Warawaseru. That would mean to make somebody laugh, and it's a good thing, right? It doesn't mean to force somebody to laugh, it means to make somebody laugh. And then there are, of course, irregulars, suru and kuru. Suru to do becomes saseru. Saseru. Kuru to come becomes kosaseru. Kosaseru. So, for example, I made my son do his homework. Then you want to say son first. Musko. Musko. And then do you know how to say homework? Shukudai. Shukudai. So, shukudai wo suru is to do homework. And to make somebody do his homework. Then, shukudai o saseru. Shukudai o saseru. So, I made my son do his homework. Musko ni shukudai o saseta. Informal. For example, if you want to say, I made my son do his homework before he plays video games. Then, we will actually use the causative form twice in this sentence. You will say before I let him play video game. So to play a game, you can say game o suru. You can also use game o yaru, but let's use game o suru first. Um, game o suru becomes game o saseru. So I said that game o saseru can mean to force somebody to play video game, but it could also mean to let somebody do something, to let the son play a game. So we would say, Musko ni game o saseru. Musko ni game o saseru. Uh, it could obviously mean to force my son to play a game, but in this context, it's kind of clear that I'm letting him. So, Musko ni game o saseru, and then you want to say before. Mae ni. So you want to put that in front of to make my son do his homework. So you want to say, so you want to say, Musko ni game o saseru mae ni shukudai o saseta. So for the second clause, you don't need to put musko ni again, because it's clear. So again, Musko ni game o saseru mae ni shukudai o saseta. Formally, Musko ni game o saseru mae ni shukudai o sasemashita. Okay, so my voice is dying, so I'm going to teach you how to say I let him do something or he let me do something using the causative form in the next video so it's gonna be the causative form part two i'm so sorry i can't continue speaking right now so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up maybe all the likes can help my voice come back <laughs> all right so yeah, thank you so much. And if you want more videos, please consider supporting on Patreon because it really, really helps and that's how I get to create more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.